Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, during yesterday's second video, I actually brought up a programming type of concept. The concept is called a random, a random number generator, or for short, RNG. Now, anybody who watches those second videos on the channel and has been doing it for long enough knows that I do not like RNG. Anything that is like that, it's, it, it, it's something I've never enjoyed. Now, during the second video I said I talk about this, but let me shift it a little bit. Why don't I like it? Why don't I like RNG? Simple. I don't like things that leave situations to chance. Now, there's the rare occasion where this isn't the case, but for the most part, when somebody leaves a concept or an idea, the outcome of it, to complete 100% chance, I my, all my brain can go is, why would you do that? That's It's kind of the same concept with RNG. RNG is basically a computer leaving, leaving the outcome to chance. When something like this happens, you can't rely on your own skill sets. Now, I'm not just talking about RNG at this point. I literally mean chance on its own. When you leave something to chance, you can't rely on your own skills, your own knowledge. You have to rely on whatever the roll of the die says. Like, say, I don't know, say you're... A, a good way to look at this is gambling. That's a much more commonly known thing. In gambling, your chances of winning are literally that, chance. A lot of the time in gambling, it's on the house and you'll lose. But there's that small chance, small fraction chance where you could potentially win. But you'd be winning less than what you lost by the time you win, for the most part. Maybe there are some people out there where it's not the case. That's kind of the main reason why I personally have never, in the past, and never will gamble. There's a reason the phrase, you're gambling your life away, exists. It's because you're putting your life's outcome to chance. And to rely on chance in the outcome of anything is just a bad idea. It's risking a lot for a little. Now, there are certain circumstances where I don't mind it. Like, let's put it this way. Say I, I'm hungry and I want to order food online and there are several options. Well, if I were to go off, and I've done this on the channel too before, I would like take my smartphone and say, hey, give me a random number. At that point, you're going off of chance, but the options are completely, like, the starting options are entirely you. You do have a bigger factor in that. So those kind of chance-related things, I don't have as much of a problem with. Because the options you're given, the, the options that are being presented were ones completely created by you. But when it's not the case, and the options you're presented with were showcased by an like a third-party individual, like for example, a video game, what this second half of this channel runs off of, most of the time it's comedic, but one of my favorite games, Kingdom Hearts, some of the aspects of it, like the first one, the next episode you guys see, um, I end up get if you've been watching that series, you get, we're going to be ending up getting the most powerful weapon in that game. And to do that, you have to receive an item from an enemy that has a 20% chance drop rate. If you do it a certain amount of times, 10% if you do it a certain, another, a lower amount, or 0% if you do it within the third, like, you have to hit the enemy third 
40 times to even have a chance at getting the item. And that's already tough enough as it is. Off screen, I've already taken care of that, but that's beside the point. My point in saying that is that it's annoying because of the fact that you would sometimes spend hours just doing that. Take the video yesterday, the gaming video yesterday, for example. There, there was, if you haven't seen it, to explain it in short, there's a type of mini game. It's kind of like a whack the mole thing, um, except some of the moles you don't want to whack when they come up. Uh, if you do, you lose points. Where they're low, and they're like 20 spots, not nine like a normal whack the mole game. You hit the wrong one, you lose points. And it's like a two player version of whack the mole. Let's put it that way two players going up against each other, but the player you're going up against is faster than you. And you have a potential way of beating them because you 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 could be offered if you waited a while to you're offered oh a way to get faster and be faster than the individual however skill sets you want to show how skilled you are so you do it without that option so you're a bit slower unless you're like spamming the hammer and suddenly that hammer suddenly for some reason makes you faster but the problem with this is that the fact that Whack the Mole is a game that's completely randomly generated, RNG, it's built off of RNG, random number generated. That machine is built off of RNG, and where they pop up, it's not patterned, it's not the same spot every time, it's completely random. If you're going up against another individual who's much faster than you, and you want to show your skill set, but you're sitting there for hours on end trying... It gets annoying. Those kind of chances, those are the reason I hate RNG and I hate chance-based situations. This is a personal opinion, though. I guess that last one was... It started with a game, but a, a video game type thing, but it ended up in Whack the Mole, which I found to be actually a really good example of what I was referring to. Whack... A two-player whack the mole where the second player is faster, but you have you keep going until you beat it. That's probably the best way to describe why I personally don't like RNG. It might be a bit immature. It might be lacking in mindset or something. I don't know. However, it's probably I get I don't get irritated easily unless progress just isn't made. And with RNG, it always feels like that's the case. With chance, it always feels like that's the case. It's why I don't gamble. One of several reasons. If the other reasons didn't exist, that would be the only reason why. For the sole purpose that if I did, I'd be sitting at a slot machine over and over and over again. And eventually I'd get frustrated. And honestly, if the machine was owned by me, I'd probably try to break it. Okay, that's an over-exaggeration, but you get my point. That being said, yeah. I guess I've gotten the point across. I hate RNG. I hate chance. I try to stay as far away from it as possible. But what about you guys? What are your guys' thoughts on this kind of thing? Uh, if you play games, whether it's like Whack the Mole, or if you gamble, or if you play video games that have RNG involved, what are your guys' opinion on that? Hold on. Hiccup's coming. Let us know in the comments below. Okay, there it goes. If you like this kind of thing, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't sit anymore. And if you really like this video, consider subscribing to the channel. There are a lot of about me or discussion rant. You know, this is probably more of an about me thing than anything else. If you want to check out any other of those type of categorized uh, videos, click the link on the side of my head where the... The link will take you to the several About Me videos at this point. Um, or if that's not quite what you're looking for, why not click the link on the other side of my head where it'll take you to something that you may enjoy a bit more. In the meantime, though, going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this video, guys, and we hope to see all of you in another one. See you guys later.